Everybody's got that one type of activity or exercise that they just can't seem to motivate themselves to do. Whether it's running, burpees, or certain types of activity like circuit training or something. Everybody's got their thing. The question is, what do you do about that? What do you do to get over that motivational hump regarding those things that it's like pulling teeth to get you to do? Well, in today's video, I got three strategies that are gonna help you out. Strategy number one is become more proficient in doing the activity. Sometimes we're not motivated to do it just because we're not very good at it and therefore we don't feel very comfortable doing it. And this is often from a cycle where we don't like doing it so we don't practice it very much. We don't practice it very much so we don't become proficient at it. We don't get comfortable with it. We don't get good at it and the cycle continues. So we're going to reverse this cycle with kind of the whole grease the groove ideas. Basically just get a lot more practice at doing it. Maybe every day if you can. So if you don't like running, run half a mile, a little bit every day. If you don't like doing burpees, do 10 burpees every day. Just get to a place where mentally and physically you're much more comfortable with doing the exercise and that'll remove a lot of the resistance that's holding you back. The second thing you can do is learn more about that activity and become more proficient with it through understanding it at a deeper level. You may need to hire a coach for this or something, but this happens a lot with me where people tell me all the time they can't stand doing push-ups because they're running off of the very limited amount of information they learned from eighth grade gym class. But once I tell them, okay, this is how you can best use your arms so you don't have stress in your joints, this is how you can regress or progress it for your own fitness level, suddenly they're like, actually, these are really good. I kind of enjoy doing these because they didn't understand the push-up to a deep enough level. So if you're having frustrations with it, maybe it's time to learn a little bit more about those movements. And the last thing you can do is take an honest, serious look about whether or not you actually need to do the exercise in the first place. You may be better off just not doing it at all. This happens a lot. In our fitness culture, everything is so important. You're supposed to do everything under the sun. Yoga and powerlifting and Olympic lifting and kettlebells and calisthenics and everything is so important if the, the experts are always saying this. But the reality is everything is largely optional these days. You don't need to be a runner to build endurance. You don't need to deadlift to build strength. You don't need to be good at push-ups in order to have a strong chest. Everything is optional and there's a million ways to build muscle, build endurance, strength. Everything you want could be done a number of ways. And oftentimes, the exercise that we're doing may be a waste of your time. And our subconscious is very smart it's saying, dude, you're spending time and money doing, uh, do, or energy doing burpees when all you want to be able to do is be able to get as big and strong as possible. This isn't helping you. So it's killing off your motivation to get you to stop doing it and put more time and energy towards the things that are going to help you. So take an honest look at that activity and be like, do you really need to do this to accomplish your goals? Of course, it helps to know what those goals are in the first place. But there are your three strategies. Let me know if you have questions down below. Be fit, live free.